the Adani Group's shares are in a free fall, declining for the second straight day after US short seller Hindenburg Research is scathing reports on the conglomerate. The fall in the heavyweight shares weighed on broader Indian benchmark indexes, which have also plunged to three-month lows, even as global sentiment has improved for risk assets. Adani Power and Adani Wilmar shares hit lower circuits. A stock hits a lower circuit when there's intense selling pressure. And the trading of a particular stock is not allowed on exchanges after the price of those shares falls to a lower band. Other shares of Adani entities are down nearly 15% for the day. The conglomerate has dismissed the Hindenburg Research's claims as baseless and warned of legal action. In retaliation, the US short seller has challenged Adani Group to sue them in the US, warning that Hindenburg can then, through the courts, request for more documents to further support their claims. What has not helped the Indian conglomerate is support for Hindenburg from billionaire US investor Bill Ackman, who said the US short seller's report on Adani was highly credible and well-researched. While Hindenburg spotted Adani Group's shares, while um, Hindenburg shorted Adani Group's shares, should I say, Ackman said he had no exposure to the group's assets and had nothing to gain or lose from his comments. About $44 billion wipeout in Adani Corp's valuation comes at a time when the Ports to Cement giant opens a $2.5 billion follow-on public offering of its shares on Friday, which will run until January 31st. The Hindenburg report casts a doubt on the success of the Adani Group FPO, even though the anchor investors part was oversubscribed. Media reports show that if the grey market is anything to go by, then investors' attitude towards Adani's FPO is flat, with the market premium down by over half of what was demanded before the Hindenburg report.